So the dose and schedule of the task, what are you doing there? I think people should start at the full dose. Is it fancy CAPE or is it a different drug? No, it's a totally different drug. And cell lines, 5-FU resistant cell lines can respond to this drug. It's an old drug, mm -hmm. um, but, it, but it had such a short half-life, it was just not a drug trifluoridine. It was not a drug that was pragmatic, so it sat on the shelves until Tiprosil came along. And Tiprosil inhibits thymidine phosphorylase, so you just have, it's like infusional t uh, uh, drug. And so the good can and the bad. Can I give it DPD deficiency? Yes. The answer is yes, you yes, can. Yes, you can. <laughs> and the other part of it is, is that um, it, it has, whether you like it or not, it only has one toxicity to speak of, and that's neutropenia. Well, I, get, I have a few, like a low level. There, there's, like, Fatigue. Me, well, Fatigue, you get a nausea. There's, yeah. there's, there's, like nausea. there's a 10 to 15 percent that has some nausea. There are some. Myelin suppression is But I mean, the, the clear dose limiting is, 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 is that. So this, this two weeks in a row, one week off, don't give it on it's weekends. It's actually five days. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Monday, Friday, it's Monday, Friday. You need yeah. schedule. But yeah. would, has anybody gone to every other week yet? Have you fiddled with this full dose but every other week? Or no, you're the giving Japanese it? Japanese may have because they've had it for they've a long it for time. A while, yeah. um, it seems like it, it, the neutropenia is more sensitive to two things, whether you have food in your stomach, which you really need to do. Mm -hmm. So if a patient has unexpected neutropenia, did you eat? Mm -hmm. You know, you need like a Jewish pillbox to tell you that. <laughs> and then the other is the scheduling. And it really seems like that little break is very important. You really have to be careful with the schedule, I would say, because some patients don't think about just taking it for d days one through five, and sometimes they forget, right. and yeah. then they'll come in severely neutral. Well, you know, the, the company developed a pill box, which they give out, and it only had, it has 10 days, but it only, the two weeks, but the two weekend. breaks, the weekend, is blocked off, so you can't fill it. Somehow, one of my patients still took it. <laughs> <laughs> they broke into it, huh? What we've started doing, actually, is because although patients in trials are always 60 and male, in, my, in practice, they're always 75 and not always male. And it's hard for people to keep track of things because they're right. taking eight other yeah, drugs. Correct. So what we do is the, uh, my nurse practitioner actually fills the pill box with them in wow. the room. Wow. Now, that's service. And no, well, you could talk to the patient about it while you're doing it, yeah. and that way they can't accidentally overdose on yeah. the drug. So, Tara, uh, this, when I ask a little bit of this from everybody, but I'm going to give you the, the floor first. So you've gone through first, second, and, and, and let's say what's left is recycling of ox. Mm -hmm. You've got TAS and you've got Rego. How do you pick among those? Well, I really discourage people from recycling ox alley if they have neuropathy. Mm. I mean, we love to recycle it. I mean, and then patients just have a miserable life. Mm. I actually prefer to give Stavarga first, followed by TIS. When you look at the trial for TIS, 20% had Stavarga. Mm. When you look at the Stavarga trial, of course no one had, you know. Um, so I like to try Stavarga first. Granted, when I look at the different side effects patients have, if they've had horrendous hand foot syndrome, mm. no, I'm not going to give Stavarga first. I'm going to let their hands recover before yeah. I give them something that will cause some issues. Or if they have uncontrolled high blood pressure, but that really shouldn't be an issue these days. Yeah. But if their bone marrow has been really wiped out, then I really have to be careful giving the TAS-102. Dan? But you probably will anyway. I will. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it just, the sequence, sequence. is probably, yeah. we're not going to go back to the full fox, full fury thing. No. And, 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 that's, that's kind of, and they'll never be directly compared. You know that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I think most patients who are really zero and ones will be able, in the TAS-102 trial, 40% of people got another line of therapy after, and it wasn't always, and only 20% of those were regorafinib. So out there, people are recycling oh, yeah. and going back to EGFR agents, maybe going back to whatever they responded to before. What would you quote a patient on response to recycling ox in this setting? They came off in three months because it was working and haven't had it in 18 months. I, I would re but reutilize it. What, what would it. you tell that patient the odds that their cancer is going to respond? Well, I, I would say it may not be as high as it was when we originally provided I'll to them. I'll give you that. Is it above 10 percent? I suspect it's going to be. Okay. So if they had a very, very nice response originally, and they're still, yes. they've still got it on the table. But how do you sequence these things? So, uh, very similar to Tara. I, 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 you know, when we get, first of all, this, the recycling is my least favorite option. It's the desperate option. It's the one that has not been tested. So I leave it to the end of the line. Uh, beyond even a clinical trial. Well, and there's no OS shown with that. We right? don't. We don't know anything. Or about you've got it. two drugs that no, have at least OS. Yeah, we, so we don't know anything about it. So I wouldn't put it ahead of uh, regorafenib or TES-102. 
Let me make it a symptomatic liver met patient who, who you'd like them to respond. Does that change your bias a little bit? Uh, there's something called SBRT that may actually help a little bit more. I, I'll make it uh, <laughs> uh, paravertebral. <laughs> no, I, I understand. So I, I saw some nods. So that, is, that might be a you case You have where to have I, a I response would, rate. Yeah. You have to have a response yeah. rate of at least 25, 30% to convince me that it's worth Fair recycling enough. if you want to go with that. And I don't believe you can get to that. Fair enough.